it feels like you're wearing pajamas outside the house, which is everything I aim for in an outfit. But why am I out of breath putting on jeans? I'm hoping for better things from you, Jamie, because your sister Joni was not doing it. She's a biker chick. Hello angels, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill and thank you for joining me today. Guys, we're doing something so long overdue today. We are doing a haul on Topshop. If you were a teenager in the UK growing up in the 2010s, you know they never did anything for us big bitches. Never, never. They went up to a size 16 and then they actually extended to a size like 18, but didn't tell anyone about it. All my friends used to wear Topshop, that was the it girl shop. I could never shop in Topshop, but I used to go in with my friends and try and squeeze myself into a size 16, hoping it would fit, just to feel like I was part of something. Thank God we have moved away from that. There are so many different plus size options now, but I was really intrigued to try out the clothes. I got some of the more famous things like the Joni jeans, the Jamie jeans. I've got them today, and we're gonna try them. And we're gonna see how the Topshop Plus size section fares up. Obviously they went bust, so then ASOS acquired them, and that's when they started doing the plus size, now that they are held under ASOS. Because ASOS ain't dumb. They know us big girls like to shop, they know we like to look good, and there's a market for it. But for some reason, Philip Green's Topshop did not know that. Or they were ignoring it. But anyway, let's talk about that another time. I have this very large ASOS package that arrived, and we're gonna talk through the clothes today. So I'm actually wearing one of the pieces already. I'll put the size of everything I've got down below, but I know for sure these bottoms are a 2X. So I've already worn this top, so I hope you can't see any stains on it because I definitely ate in it yesterday and spilled on myself. First of all, I got this like sage green tracksuit. It's very oversized, like the, the jumper is massive. Very comfy, very cozy vibes. Nice and long as well. It's got fleecy lining, it feels really nice. I'm not gonna lie, Top Drop is not, it's not the cheapest option out there, but I'm hoping that the quality is gonna like match up nicely today. These are the joggers. They're just nice and high-waisted with a tie waist. They're kind of big, like, I can't even lie. Um, I'm surprised because I think this is 24, 26 and they are actually nice and big. The one thing is they're very long. Obviously I'm a tall girl, <laughs> we all know this. But if you're a shorter girl, these will be very, very, very long on you. Because even on me, they're kind of bunching up a little bit around the, the ankles, but I don't mind. But they're long. They have nice big pockets. And yeah, I think this tracksuit is really cute. It's obviously very slouchy and very oversized, but I like that vibe. On a chill one, especially now it's winter, this is very comfy and cozy. And like, it feels like you're wearing pajamas outside the house, which is everything I aim for in an outfit. This is the first piece. Okay, I can't lie, I'm concerned because this is a size 26 Joni jean. Of course, we all know the Joni jeans were like always really, really stretchy, apparently. I never wore them because I couldn't fit in them, but my friends wore them and they were those really stretchy high-waisted jeans. This is how they look. They are very stretchy. So I'm hoping for good things because they look scary right now. Oh my God, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh my God. <sighs> Hmm. Nah. Guys, I think they could go up with a, more effort. But why am I out of breath putting on jeans? I should never have to be this uncomfortable putting on a pair of pants. Um, they are very stretchy, but stretchy enough to go over bum bum? No. No, I'm, I'm fucking disappointed, man. Okay, I get it, like maybe they'll fit really tight around the waist, but to get over hip on big girls, it's not happening. If I look like I'm talking down there, it's just because I have my phone recording for Instagram and TikTok as well. Apologies. The thing that's hindering it as well is the ankle hole is really small and they're very tight on the calf. So if you have big calves, it's just like hard to get it all because they're just like, yeah. These defo ain't fitting. And I don't even know if a 28 would fit. And like, eh, I don't even know if they do up to that size. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed. 
I'm actually sweating after that. Okay, next we have this skirt. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it looks cute. It is growing on me slowly, slowly. It's like this Peyton Oxblood burgundy kind of colour. It has pockets right here, which I do really like. My idea with this was to wear it with some tights. Like, I think like little mini skirt and tights would be cute. But, I don't know. It is short on me. But I think I could actually get away with it. Mm, the back's looking very short. I didn't like it when I put it on, but now it's kind of growing on me. What do we think, guys? It has a zip all the way up the middle, and then it has these two little buttons right here that you can pop. I like that. And it has belt loops, so you could also put a belt on it, and the little pockets. I think it's cute. I don't know. It's growing on me. The top, I really like. So this is like a little crop top, V-neck mesh, but it's ruched. So it's ruched all up the arms. It's not too tight. It is definitely fitted, but it's not super, super tight. And it is mesh, so you can see your bra underneath. But I think it looks really nice because it's ruched. So it's like, you can see your bra, but not too much. It'll probably look like more on here because of the lights. But I really like that. I think it's sexy and subtle and cute. This is the back. The back is not ruched. I really like this top. I'm definitely going to keep the top. The skirt, I don't know. It's kind of cute. I can't even lie. Now we have the Jamie jean. I'm hoping for better things from you, Jamie, because your sister Joni was not doing it. Okay. These are looking like something I can get down with. Come on, Jamie. I'm really hoping for big things from you, Jamie. These are in a 26 as well. <sighs> Guys, I've got a bad back at the moment, so... Bending over is actually hard. Okay, thank God, Jamie. Hmm. Okay. We're in. Praise the Lord. These are the Jamie jeans and they actually fit. I'm very happily surprised. So they're like a dark blue wash. I really like the colour. They fit nice, but they are just a bit too big on the waist. Quite a lot too big, to be honest. Um, they're very generous on the waist, but I find that they're not that generous in the calf, in the ankle area, because getting them on is a bit of a struggle. Because the ankle hole is so small, they're quite tight on the lower leg and the ankle. So that annoys me. And also I feel like they are not as high-waisted as, as I would like, because on the back, I know if I sit down, you'd be able to see my knickers, because they would ride down. Like, I know I'm wearing big knickers today, but even if I was wearing thong, like, my thong will come up to like here. And if I'm gonna sit, your knickers are popping out. So yeah, but I think it would annoy me after a while that they're quite loose here. Um, especially if you've worn them a couple of times and wear them in, they are obviously gonna get bigger. And I can just see already that they would bunch up. There's quite a lot of excess material here, which is worrying because that just ends up looking not that nice. That's so strange, the size inconsistencies between the Joni and the Jamie. Like the, J the Joni was way too small. Could do with being a size bigger. These could do with being like a size smaller or a half a size smaller. Mm. Yeah. Lastly, I got a jacket. I used to love Topshop jackets. I used to look in the sale and they always had the size 16 in the sale. So I would buy it because they did a lot of their jackets really oversized. So I've got a couple Topshop jackets in my time. Today we got a leather jacket. I've not had a leather jacket in ages. This is a leather jacket. It's cute! Definitely oversized, definitely big. Could I wear it done up? Yeah. I mean, I would never wear it like this, but if you wanted to, it is big enough to zip up. Wow. She's a biker chick. I quite like this. It's very soft, obviously fake leather, but it's very, very soft. And it has like the belt around the bottom. I don't know if it's my, you know what? I think what's throwing me off is I'm wearing it with jeans and I look like Sandy from Greece. I would never wear it like this, but I do think I quite like it. This is the back, it's just literally plain on the back. But yeah, I look like a real rocker chick right now. I think it's cute. That was absolutely everything I had to show you today. It's not a super long haul because the stuff was not cheap, but I really wanted to try it out. There's definitely a few things I'll be keeping, like this top, the tracksuit. I don't think I'll keep these jeans because I just don't think I will wear them. But if you're looking for nice jeans, they are an option. I do quite like the jacket as well. I need to check how much this was and see if I should keep it because I have a lot of jackets and I need to stop hoarding. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Our first haul we've done in so long and the first haul of 2023. So here's to many more hauls. 
going forward. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Love you all.